making me do it again. <laughs> so, Mushi, the support too. <laughs> so, um, a Thank lot of you guys <laughs> haven't seen the first part because it's age restricted. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this one not age restricted, but that's almost an impossible task. So, if you haven't seen the first one, you don't really have to. You don't have to, and I don't advise you <laughs> it's, to. Uh, it's probably not fit for human consumption. No. You know, it's like that. It's like that no. warning. And my voice still isn't completely <clears throat> there, so bear with me as well. <laughs> yeah, both of our voices are a bit knackered, to say the yeah. least. So, squad broken too. Eclectic Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, before I forget, before we jump into this, I'm going to give a few announcements or updates at the end of this video. So, just... I mean, you could just skip to the end. <laughs> if you really want to. <laughs> you really want to, just do that. When he heard another squad mate screaming over the comms in rage and pain, Girk knew things must be going terribly wrong. That was the fourth such transmission he'd received, and even his orc brain couldn't comprehend that most likely at least half his squad was dead. It was no matter. Even one orc was more than a match for the average squad of space marines, and his 12-inch orc Orc cock was throbbing with an unusual lust for a man. virgin man. Con. <laughs> virgin man. Con. Yeah, Lovely. this video is not going to be. No, uh, not. This is going to be. This is definitely going to be ego scripted. Yeah. So tell me, what's your thoughts about <laughs> virgin, virgin man? Stop it. <laughs> okay, come on, let's just keep. Going. No, no need to take chances, though. Girk thought and decided to get a grip on the situation. In his deep guttural voice, he cracked his comms unit to life. All orcs report in. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's going so bad. Girk only heard silence greet him in return over the comms. Something was definitely wrong. He quickened his pace, picking up in a slow trot with his long, thick orc legs, heading back for the dropship. Whatever was going on, he knew it couldn't be good, and just wanted to get out of there now. There would be other marines and other anuses to violate, and Girk had a strong sense of self-preservation. Almost back to the dropship. Girk suddenly found himself flying through the air head first as he entered one of the large cargo rooms from a side tunnel. He landed hard with a crash near the centre of the room, and before he could even move, heard the telltale sound of pulse rifles charging up. He raised his head to look around, and only had a chance to see the butt of one of those rifles impact his head so hard that everything went black. He didn't know how much later it was when he woke up, but he felt green blood trickling down his face and dripping off his fangs. Trying to wipe the blood away only brought realisation that his hands and feet were bound, and he was wearing a control belt. Now free to look around, he saw no less than 12 space marines surrounding him. <laughs> oh my god, it's the meme. You know that meme yep. of the girl yep. on the sofa? Yep. All of them disrobed from the waist down with raging hard-ons that made Girk's own cock Orc cock flushed with excitement. Give more. Give me more. <laughs> Even considering his current situation. All right, boys, have Adam. One of the Marines shouted, and Girk found himself with his face on the cold metal floor and his ass in the air. He heard the pulse of a plasma rifle discharge and felt the searing of his flesh as they melted the armor protecting his ass. He didn't shout or make any noise even though there was pleasure mixed with the pain for Girk. One by one, the space marines violated Girk's <laughs> anus, some blowing their hot loathes inside of him, some on his face after or before punching him, some shooting them on his back, and all the while, Girk enjoyed the fuck out of a lifetime. Fuck well, of a lifetime. I mean, like, at least Even if they <laughs> did have small cocks. I mean, at least Girk is enjoying it this well. time around. However, we did get some answers. Apparently... No, in fact, it depends on the Space Marine chapter whether or not they have acidic spit. So I'm going to. These are blood angels, so we're going to say no. They do not have acidic jizz. Jizz. Okay. So that's out of the question. But do you want to just say that they do have acidic jizz? Probably tastes like copper. <laughs> <laughs> After all the marines had taken their turn, Girk's face was covered in a film of white cum and a mixture of semen and shit dribbled from his anus. As he lay there on the floor, behind him, he heard the distinct, su the distinct sound of metal on metal, like a clink, clink, clinky. <laughs> But he couldn't turn to see what was what it was as it approached. Closer the clinking became, until it seemed right on top of him. As a new figure stepped in front of him, with each leg making a clinking sound as it struck the metal floor. 
Gurk realised that the person now standing in front of him must have metal legs, although he looked like a normal space marine, but older. Hello, Gurk, he said. <laughs> you probably don't remember me, it's been so long. But 12 years ago, you raped my virgin ass and left me for dead on a cargo ship, just like this one. The damage was so extreme, much of my body couldn't be saved, but the doctors were able to give me a new body. Now I'll do to you what you did to me so long ago, and my revenge will be complete. I am Eduardo. Eduardo! So is he a dreadnought now? He must be a dreadnought. Girk only vaguely recalled the encounter so long ago. One of many in a long list of ass rapes <laughs> they had committed against the Marines. Just, I mean, I mean, like, look, I, it's not like I can remember you, okay? Like, I mean, I do it all the one? time. <laughs> and almost all of which ended with a dead marine. As he struggled to recall the exact memory in his slow orc brain, Eduardo was disrobing before him. He was amazed to see two metal legs, but that was mo- but what was more impressive was his cock, which was made completely of metal and appeared to have a built-in <laughs> piston of some kind. Right, I don't know, how, how do you make a piston noise? <laughs> Right, I'll just like do some sound effects here, guys. Do you want? <laughs> Can you please close that door. My dad's down there. <laughs> All right. I'm reading this. <laughs> right, there you go. Right, doors officially shut. Yeah, people don't like you know. A lot of the time, going to be like, what, what, the, do- what, what the is my daughter fuck doing do you for money? <laughs> <laughs> what is my daughter doing? For money? <laughs> is this what it's keep doing? <laughs> this what it's keep doing? <laughs> He's saying to me later, Megan, if you need money, I'll help you. Out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, Gurk, I see you're admiring my equipment. What you see here is a Model 101 <laughs> Cybercock, one of the first of its kind. I had the doctors modify it though, and I can directly control the size and speed of the piston. See? And as he said that, the Cybercock seemed to grow in size to nearly twice as big as it had been, and became fully erect, standing nearly 15 inches long. Not wanting to waste any more time, Eduardo moved in behind Gurk, and with a thought discharged a hot oil lubricant from his cybercock and thrusted it thrusted it brutally into gr- Gurk. Right, hold on. Do we need to make a sound no, effect? No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's a sound effect for the, uh, Stop it. the cybercock entering the orcs. This asshole. time, Gurk did scream. A guttural as the 15 inches of hot metal <laughs> tore open his anus and green blood began to mix with hot oil lube and leftover manjus. Manjus? <laughs> Eduardo turned up the piston speed with a thought to 800 RPM <laughs> and what Gurk seemed to vibrate <laughs> <laughs> Watch Girk seemed to vibrate as his cybercock ravaged him. Girk seemed to go limp, but Eduardo didn't care as he climaxed and extended the cybercock another five inches further inside of Girk, rupturing vital organs in his innards filled with hot cum. Eduardo pulled out and Girk crumbled to the floor unmoving, most likely dead from the violation of the cybercock. It was then that Eduardo noticed a flashing light on the shoulder of Girk's orc's armour, but it was too late as a stun grenade detonated a split second after he came to his realisation, and he was unconscious. Eduardo woke up next to the rest of his squad of space marines, all bound hand and foot and all naked. At least eight orcs were in the room with them, and Eduardo knew what was coming. The squad was lined up on the floor, face down, <laughs> ass up, just like Girk had been, and the orcs began <laughs> ass raping them one at a time. just gets worse. Running a rape train on each one of them in turn, letting all the others see what was to come. Some of the marines just passed out or died outright before the orcs even got to them, knowing full well what was going to happen to them from Eduardo's account. The orcs didn't care. They raped them anyway, having a good time using their bodies like puppets while their friends raped their still warm man cunts. Why do they have to keep using that name? That that? Man cunt is such a horrible, horrible term. Please stop it. Eduardo was one of the last, and even though he had a metal anus, the orcs didn't care and raped him anyway, and he still felt everything. He quickly went into a semi-conscious state as the orcs ravaged him, reliving in his mind the original encounter with Gert, muttering over and over, Squad Squad broken! broken. Squad Squad broken! As he continued to get pounded by the orcs. Living longer than anyone else did because of his partially robotic body, the rape was done. Gurk rose above Eduardo, 
turning around only to find them dead. Gurk looked around to see what had happened when suddenly there was a loud crack. Gurk looked down at his chest. There was a gaping hole. Gurk fell to his knees in a vindic as a as vindicare vindicare so. smile halfway across the field. So I don't know if you know this, but we've got a website with lots of models. And whenever I say lots of models, I mean lots of models. We've got models for any setting that you can think of. With humans with biddies, animals that shouldn't have biddies but do have biddies, dwarves and elves with biddies. Look, we've got a lot of smut models. But it doesn't stop there. We really do have models for anything and everything. And to be honest, they look so good. Chef's kiss, so good. But it's not all smart for all you good Christian Minecraft server players. We've got you covered. And we even got the weebs covered too, which is unusual for this channel because we don't <laughs> like weebs. <laughs> yeah, the weebs aren't that bad. We, <laughs> also, just that bad. <laughs> we also have 5th edition subclasses and adventures, which some of them are free for download. And we sell a physical printed copy of Steel Water as well. And you can request a signed version if that's your thing, where I'll draw a penis on it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, hey, if you want you know, us to sign a couple of want, decks, that's we, what you we'll, want. We'll give you decks, okay, guys? That's that's what anyway, you want. Anyway, if you enjoy what we do here, go ahead and check out the website. It helps us out so so much, and we don't need to worry about our YouTube overlords striking down another one of our channels. Our website is also now available as an app on Android. Also, and the winner of the daily giveaway is this guy. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. And to claim the prize, you just send an email to nickbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's go back to the video. So, uh, there you go. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) So, uh, the real question of the day, guys, is what lease in 40k? is the worst to be leaped by. So let's go through them. Let's go through them all. I would definitely say orcs. orcs are probably going to fuck but your... I've seen a lot in the comments that they don't have deck. Yeah, orcs don't. They're mushrooms. Essentially, they go like spores in 40k, so, so like, they don't they really don't have it. But if orcs had decks... Also, space wings probably don't even have decks either because like you know or they're probably really small yeah it's not really like something and their balls are like massive yeah it could be it's pure testosterone <laughs> yeah could be I don't know it's right okay let's go let's go down hold on give me give oh me my one god, second please don't no I'm no, no I'm gonna work this out <laughs> no who is the worst to get molested by Eldar. so uh, Elder's pretty bad I'd say like honestly um, Craft World Order don't really need to worry about it. it's all about Dark Elder Dark Elder that's they're, they're, pl- Dark Elder, they're definitely yeah. the worst and they're unironically the actual leaky ones in the set. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Ganesh, again, that's going to be up there, but I suppose most people are going to be into it. Um, <laughs> Corn again, very much like orcs, going to get absolutely molested. Um, you're definitely going to get STDs off Nurgle. Um, oh Zinch, my god, yeah, no Nurgle. Yeah, Nurgle's pretty bad. Yeah. Nurgle's actually really bad. If you're going to get molested by one of them, Nurgle's pretty high up there. But the thing is, like all these people are gonna are dying from all this El Lape. Yes, Why am I, I saying El Lape? It's fucking leap. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man can't leap. You know, can't leap. Uh, so yeah, that's the question of the day. If you were gonna, not if you, but like who who do you think would be the leapiest of leapy? Who would be the worst of the worst to be leaped by? Like if there's if yeah, if it's gonna have to be one, what's the worst? I'm gonna say honestly, Space Marines have got insane stamina. No. Dark Eldar, they're all into that BDSM stuff. They'll and they'll make it go on forever. They'll torture you and make it go on for forever. Yeah, yeah exactly. Dark Eldar, 100%. Yeah, Dark Eldar, it's not even a competition. Maybe yeah. Slaanesh. No, dark, Maybe Slaanesh could give them a run for the money. Yeah, Dark, and the thing is with Dark Eldar, they like to keep you. you alive the entire time. Yeah, and, and they'll they, be laughing at you. Yeah, well, unless you're into that, that's the thing. Like, you know, they... they yeah, Dark Elder. Let's dark just, Elder. Yeah, let's just put it down as that. And uh, that's where we're going to end the video. No, I don't want to talk about this anymore. So, slight updates. I'm going to have to put this at all our videos. Um, we finally have the Kickstarter book fully finished. It is fully um, formatted. It's Thank going the into Lord. the printers. There were some issues we had with the bleed. I Don't ask me what the problem was exactly because I don't fully understand it. <laughs> um, 
but you guys have it anyway if you've bought it and um, the di- digital version is there um the guy is going to send me photos and videos of the book going into print, print yeah. so once he sends me that then i'm going to upload that and i'm going to do a separate up uh, thingy video mm-hmm. so other big problem is um royal mail has cancelled international shipping at the minute yeah so <laughs> from some russian cyber attack uh, and they don't know when that's going to be back up and running which is absolutely hopefully f- it will be ended by the time the books are finished in print yeah with any luck hopefully hopefully, hopefully i don't know if, like, can't this, promise anything if, but uh, at the minute I'm, I'm, I'm looking into other couriers anyway yeah um because they need to get they need to be sent out something yeah, else you so know what i mean we're just gonna have to see what way that works um also uh we still don't have our other channel back um, yeah, not yet. At the time of recording that, anyway, hopefully it might be back by the time this video goes up. Um, I'll just leave leave it down below. We were able to get like all the stuff that we needed to get and fill like the forums and stuff for YouTube and all that. But stuff. now we need we, for YouTube now to actually look over the forum yeah, exactly. and hopefully. God knows how long I'll take. You don't know, but person. we are getting somewhere though. That's that's the important thing. Yeah. We are actually making progress, and thank you for all the guys that actually went ahead and liked and retweeted that um, tweet, tweet because it actually did Helped help us, us get back for YouTube to actually get back to us which you know that's all we can really do you know that's a funny thing someone asked me it's like because uh, you guys have like over 100,000 subscribers does that not mean like you've got someone that you can talk to it's like yeah. yes yeah that's right but, you need but to be on lo- that channel but you need to be logged in on that on channel, that channel. But for that I to work because they took the email <laughs> so yeah. I can't um, that's about it. I don't yeah. really want to say much else. I'm going to give these updates on all the other videos anyway, just uh-huh. so you guys can see it. Um, that's one thing I've learned with YouTube. If you're going to do an update, you have to do it like every day or make a dedicated <laughs> video to it. And, yeah. You know, it's... Yeah. Ugh, like, you well, guys anyway. get it. Um, that's it. But yeah, we'll Manhunt Leap, I'm like, guys. Oh, Seal, by the way. This video is 100% demonetized. Check out the Seal. <laughs> 35% off. Helps us out a lot. If you want more of this, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't please, think anyone... Please don't. Please don't want any more of this. <laughs> I, I, I hope you enjoyed, kind of. I'm going to disappoint my father. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks, I hated it. <laughs> you know what I, mean? anyway, I hear it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, like, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye. All those moments that we lost in time.